every day has an hors d'oeuvre, a main course, the sauce that changes every day, the cheese that changes every day. That's the menu for the lunch program at a public school in Paris, a five-course meal for three-year-olds. A menu not only given to parents so they know what their child is having for lunch, it even recommends what families should serve for that night's dinner. You don't want your child to have fish for lunch and fish for dinner. Vivian Walt is a writer for Time magazine, and her three-year-old son goes to a public school in Paris. And her experience illustrates just how seriously the French schools approach meals. The menus are designed to provide a balanced meal, but also to introduce children to the tremendous variety of French cuisine. I was there the day they served bouillabaisse, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> me in a bunny suit, because uh, they go to extraordinary lengths for food safety. Each of the city's 20 school districts has a central kitchen like this, a high-tech, ultra-hygienic facility, because children, especially young children, are more susceptible to foodborne illnesses. They clean every bottle, every bag, every piece of fruit. So there's nothing that leaves this place to the kitchen that has not been disinfected. The meat, they were proud to tell me, not only born and raised, but... Which, even in the U.S., is no guarantee of quality or safety. But in Parisian schools, they keep small samples of every meal for two months, just in case of any suspect illnesses. And in the U.S., schools generally offer vegetables at lunch, but children just don't eat them. Here, the dietitian isn't above deep-frying the broccoli. But a bigger concern is the rise in childhood obesity, fueled partly, experts say, by the popularity of fast food. One of the very first things that they will always tell you is about how Americans gobble their food. And it's one of the things that drives the French nuts about Americans. Yeah, okay. But I, I went to City Hall to talk to the woman in charge of all the public schools in Paris. Rosai Colomb is her name. And she believes that eating is... Eating is also a pleasure because you share with your friends in school, your family at home, and you share some food, but you also share time, conversation, and this is also a point that is important to me. Well, in a Parisian school, the lunch costs around five, six dollars, and the family pays what they can afford, the city picks up the rest. But even in a small town 400 miles to the south of Paris, where the budget is about half that, the chef there insists. C'est pas parce qu'ils ont pas le droit de vote qu'on va foutre de leur gueule, quoi. Now this is Dominique Valadier. He's the chef at a local high school, and he has to feed 800 students every day for the equivalent of about two dollars and fifty cents a plate. It's ironic because 20 years ago he was a chef at one of the biggest casinos on the Riviera. J'ai servi la reine d'Angleterre. <laughs> <laughs> but he married a teacher, and when their schedules and vacations, you know, never meshed, he left the Riviera and the Queen to cook for kids, but brought with him his passion for cuisine. He, he insists everything be made by hand. He refuses to take shortcuts, even making his own fish stock, so that nothing goes to waste. And it's better, because it has a lot of taste, a lot of force. Most mornings, he goes to the market. Je cherche les les légumes qui viennent d'ici uh -huh. le plus possible. The menu that day included roast beef, handmade ratatouille turnovers, carrot salad, and mussels, all fresh. And just as younger children are introduced to typical French cuisine, at this school, kids are eating escargot. Uh, yeah, it's snails. Uh, one student even feels it's better than what he's getting at home. Yeah, at home, I mean, I eat the usual thing, you know, normal things that like everybody do, like pasta, like pizza, like home. And uh, when you get here, it's really, really good, really good for your health. 
The French, as we know, are proud of their cuisine, which is why Vivian, you remember Vivian, well, when her son started nursery school, she'd signed him up for the lunch program, then decided mm, maybe she'd bring him home, feed him, he could take a short nap. She neglected to tell the administration and one day got a phone call requesting that she come to the school immediately. I thought something was really wrong with my son. I ran out the door, I ran down the street, run up to her office, walk in, and she's sitting there with my file in front of her and she says, what does your son eat for lunch? Because of course we had signed him up for the lunch program. Um, and I had changed my mind without letting them know. So Vivian agreed that her son would eat lunch at school every day and was sent home with a menu detailing what the child would be eating every day for the next two months. Mm -hmm. This to me is a work of art. <laughs> and these are three-year-olds we're talking about. 